So you may have been waiting for the Fortnite Anime Legends pack to drop. And as you can see, I actually have that in my possession right now. Let's see everything that comes along with it. So we get the Golden Gear Midas anime style. He's going to have multiple edit styles. Looks super clean already. We have the Golden Crash Backling, which I believe he uses this mask as an edit style as well. The 24 karat katana. That looks super clean. That impact looks awesome. The ricochet rocks. This one looks super clean. I think this is going to be a super popular skin. And then you get the whirlberry back bling. Looks like it's animated. Might be reactive. So I'm excited to check that out. The glimmering edge pickaxe, which I believe goes with the next skin here. The ready penny skin looking super clean i love the jacket on there the little black bag back bling nothing too crazy for this one and this blazeberry blade goes with the second skin there and that looks super sick and then on top of that you also get the little cart emote it's a traversal emote looks super cool so i'm super excited for this one as well so that is everything that comes with the anime legends pack so we're gonna see how all of this looks like in game so let's go ahead and jump in and check it out let's go so here we have the first skin free falling the back plane already has a little bit of interactivity there looks really clean really cool let's go ahead and dive forward I love the cell shaded effect on these skins. All right, so let's take a good look at this first skin. I'm wondering if it's going to be reactive. I don't believe it said it was, but just taking a quick look here. I do love how you obviously have the golden touch there. You have the golden hands. You got the tattoos there. The jacket looks super clean. Very, very clean. Minimal red shoes look really nice. You got the pouches there on the pant. And other than that, nothing else is really on the skin. You do have another edit style, so that's going to be good to see. And this looks really clean during the nighttime too. It's got a very, very nice color. And let's go ahead and check out the back bling. So it is the mask that's the other edit style. So the other edit style he has this on looks like he has a strap hanging off there you've got the red gold black so it looks very intimidating the jacket has those weird bumps throughout it looks a little weird but pretty cool still nonetheless okay so you can see that the edge of the hands there are glowing so that gold effect is glowing a little bit and that brings me to the next thing so I'm really excited to test this out because all of the Midas skins have that golden touch effect so when you pick up a weapon he obviously turns all the weapons gold okay so now is this gonna be like a golden regular wrap or is it gonna make it anime style so let's check it out that looks anime to me I could be a hundred percent wrong but it does have that golden touch now let's check the aiming down sights so this is normally a very minimal skin so aiming down sights looks good the helmet is a little big but it's not too bad let's go ahead and run jump slide and let's go ahead and mantle here I love the entire outfit I love all the detail and the fact that there's so many different things going on with the jacket. Let's go ahead and check out this pickaxe actually. So it has a very nice contrail there. Deploy sounds good. And let's go ahead and harvest here. Harvesting wood. Very nice splash effect. Let's check it out here. It's got like a very dusty effect with uh, some golden sparkles as well. But overall, very well done. I like this entire set here, and I'm excited to see it with the mask on and see how different that does look. So taking a look here, that helmet looks really, really intimidating. I love the pop of red in there. Not much is gonna change on this entire skin, but it does feel a lot more different. Having no back bling on there, I think it actually looked a little bit better with the back bling because it broke it up a little bit. It gave it a little bit more of a color there. The spikes on the helmet match the jacket, so you have a little bit more continuity there. Let's go ahead and run, slide, jump, and then let's go ahead and mantle. Let's go ahead and check out this emote. So it's called the little cart, another one of the rideable little vehicles on there. So it's just a really laid back, cell shaded, traversal emote, little car. It sounds like it's got, like it's battery operated for sure. No music, no anything, fun emote. So it's just cool that it came a part of this pack. And it's cool to have more cell shaded emotes as well because I don't think we have enough of them. Let me know what you think of the emote down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and check out the next skin. So here we have the skin free falling. The back bling is already interactive so you can tell that. 
the hair looks like it's purple pink so i really really like it already free falling looks really funny i wonder if it's gonna speed up as we go down and dive down a little bit faster it does okay so you can see it's faster here slower there faster here slower there let's go ahead and deploy the glider and it's just got a constant movement there so it is reactive to uh, your speed so i wonder if that's going to come into effect as you're running or sliding yeah because if you're not moving here it's pretty dead and then you jump and it spins up as you're falling down okay so let's take a good look at the skin you've got that purple hair with the pink on there she's got the blue eyes and then the jacket seems to have like a strawberry on there and then you can see the watermelon slice there on her earring you've got the pink with uh that teal accents that from the strawberry and from the socks then you've got a yellow triangle there on the back but overall the color scheme is impeccable i really do like that and let's take a good look at the back bling here so the back bling looks like it's in the shape of a strawberry it kind of reminds me of the one up front and the propellers look kind of like the leaves on a strawberry so just a little robotic strawberry there on the back so as you can tell as we're falling here it speeds up so let's go ahead and build and get up a little bit higher so as you can tell if we fall it speeds up if we run it speeds up if we slide yeah it speeds up and then it slows down just always animated so always blinking and just has that smile on there back bling a big check let's go ahead and check the aiming down sights it's not bad at all so it looks like the back bling does sit lower probably because of the hair but that actually helps the aiming down sights because it's not in the way as much as it would be and now this pickaxe it looks really cool it's got that plasma effect so it's always burning really really nice you have little flames that shoot off at random times you got that teal that pink it all ties in together so i do like that let's go ahead and check the deploy deploy is really nice let's go ahead and harvest some wood here it's got that pink splash effect on there and then we have a pink after image too for the contrail looks really clean sounds good so it's the second sword pickaxe in the pack the splash effect has like a pink flame that goes off too and let's go ahead and run jump slide and let's go ahead and mantle here i think it's going to be a crowd favorite i know a lot of people were anticipating this one i think these three skins are going to be really really fun but there's no other edit style so we're just going to take a look at what it looks like without a back bling so here she is with no back bling everything is the same you just have that yellow triangle there on the back so aiming down sights is going to be a little bit better but it wasn't making a big difference and i do like how the pickaxe looks you've got even like a flow to it towards the middle where all the energy builds up very very well done let's go ahead and check out the final skin of the pack all right so here she is free falling i like the jacket the hair looks really nice too it's like an orangey red a lot to it that i'm really excited to see here in person the back bling is very minimal too so let's take a good look at the skin she's got earrings on there blue eyes with like a lightning bolt tattoo there on her face she's got the necklace that looked to be dog tags i love the jacket on there she's got the zippers there on the sleeves the gloves look really cool because i like the spikes on there as well and then you've got the boots and it looks like it's got some spikes it does there at the front so very very clean skin the back bling doesn't have anything too crazy so it's just a backpack she's got a gun there on the side she's got a frowny face button there on there a charm just hanging off of there as well let's check out the aiming down sights isn't too bad here she's got that hoodie on there so nothing too crazy and then the back bling isn't too big either so you're not losing a lot of visibility on there but you can see the spikes on the gloves and then you can see that she has more tattoos so i do like it aiming down sights is a pass and then we get this pickaxe so it's black gold with the brown accents just like her jacket matches her perfectly let's check out the deploy good sound effect You've got a yellow streak contrail on there that looks pretty good. And you've got a nice splash effect too. So you have golden sparkles along with that dust anime style splash effect on there. So very, very nice. So it's good to have some more cell shaded pickaxes. And this one's super clean. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and run. We're going to jump, slide. And her pants look shiny too. 
but very, very well done. I'm a big fan of this skin as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the back bling. So you can see that now that we don't have the back bling on there, that she has straps coming off the back to the front there on the sides. So this does look pretty clean without the back bling too. I do think that the back bling gives it a little bit more character. Aiming down sights is gonna be slightly better but nothing too crazy since that back bling wasn't big. But let's go ahead and go back to my locker so I can give you my final thoughts on this entire bundle and let you know whether you should get it or not. Let's go. So let's start off with the Golden Gear Midas. So it's got a great color scheme. You even got that yellow eye on there. The tattoos look really clean. And then the spikes throughout do match the helmet on there. You do have the two different edit styles. So helmet on helmet off i do think it looks really good with the helmet on i'm not the biggest fan of the spikes on there but i think this would be the way that i would run it the most with the helmet on the back and then no helmet up top so i'm gonna give this midas skin a 9 out of 10. very very well done we have the ricochet rocks only one edit style i love the color scheme you've got the platform shoes i don't think i realized that before and it's a very clean very minimal skin so i think i'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 as well you have the ready penny i love the jacket i love the entire vibe of this outfit from the tattoos to the spikes to the jacket the blue eyes the blue lightning bolt the earrings they did a very great job it's very detailed so i'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 as well as far as the back blings are concerned we're gonna start off with the golden crash here the helmet looks super clean the red does look intimidating i like it i love the colors i'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. you have the whirlberry i love how the propeller is reactive to your motion i think you can run this with a lot of different combos and it's kind of like you have a little pet with you at all times so i'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. and then you have the little black bag so you've got the guns on both sides you've got that combat style i think you can run this with a lot of different skins i'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. you get three great different pickaxes the 24 karat katana was super super clean i like the design of it i like how it's minimal and it has a great contrail so i'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10. the blazeberry blade super sick i'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. they did an incredible job the glimmering edge pickaxe looks super clean i love the black the gold the accents of the brown it's got a very nice contrail nice splash effect i'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 as well and then you get the little cart so this does look better when you're not driving the black the red looks really clean so i'm gonna give this emote a 9 out of 10 as well but that is everything that comes with the pack so as of october 14th you can go to any retail store and get it in your hands redeem the code so you can get it in game you won't be able to actually get this from the item shop until october 22nd it won't be available digitally until october 22nd so so the only way that you can get it as of right now is through the physical copy. So I think this is a great pack. You get so much included. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful at all. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Your support goes a long way way so thank you so much for subscribing and for being a part of the family but that's going to be it for me you guys i'll see you in the next one bye